channel and today's video is going to be a review on the worst ever lipstick I have ever used. Now guys this is some color bar and it looks like this. The packaging is really nice and classy. It looks very pretty, something new and you know you feel excited to go and try it out. This is some color bar kiss proof lip stain in the shade 002 royal pink. Actually I was going to pick up a number of other colors too but thank god I didn't waste my money on it. Has you already seen the swatch and how it looks? It really looks like very pretty once you apply it and everything. I think it really looks very beautiful. The color payoff is really nice. And you know, they have a number of very beautiful colors actually. So you really get excited to like purchase a little more. Price at 900 which is like quite expensive. Looks like this which is like wow. It looks so pretty. I mean like really pretty. I mean, you can see the color in between the transparent glass and everything. It looks something exciting. It has really amazing shades actually. I really liked everything about the colors out there. They had a really, they had really good selection of colors. Really pretty, very nice. Now let's begin. Who does not want non-transferable lipstick? I mean like I definitely want. I hawk so much so like you understand. Now I wore this for the first time a few days back and uh, just within an hour's time it went into all the fine lines on my lips. It was like a misery. It really went into my lips and my lips isn't so dry to like really look like a zombie this color is on the lighter side as you've seen so it really got into all the lines on my lips we all have lines this was like oh my god it was a horrendous effect I hate the formula I don't know what they thought and they made this formula I mean okay I am using other brands too which is like non-transferable right now I'm using like in color on my lips which is like really nice does not transfer and it's just so cheap but this for 900 bucks is so scary actually like my friends when you put lipstick you should be getting compliments and nobody should be mocking at you but this lipstick really made me feel so embarrassed i mean like my lips look really dead dehydrated and you know it looked like as if i'm like dying or i just woke up from the grave I don't know, it looked like something so pathetic. I mean, like a real, you know, ooh, I just need to do that. Like a zombie. It gives a very bad finish after like few hours. Maybe not even hours. Maybe like 30 minutes you will get like all this patchy and deadly lip. Ugh, I really didn't like it. I don't know how to work with it. I spent like 900 bucks on it. So I really can't waste it. So I'm thinking of putting a lip balm first and then applying this. I hope it sticks on to it and then I'm thinking of applying a lip balm on top of it. I hope it works. If it works, I will surely be posting it on my page. So look out for that. All the links will be in the description box. After you eat, you know, it gets out from here, from the inner lip and then you can't reapply it because if you reapply it, it looks again patchy and you know, more it aggravates the situation which is like, oh my God, you don't know what to do. I'll tell you what happened to me. After I ate, it became like fully disgusting. It went out from here. I reapplied it. Again, it went into a super mess. And eventually, I didn't have a makeup remover. I had to actually scrape it off because it started becoming powdery, which is another disaster. I don't know why. It really became like powdery and everything. It was a different feeling. I don't know why I'm feeling it on my lips right now. But that day, it was horrible. I had to literally scrub my lips and try to get rid of everything and it was just literally powdery. So it was a pathetic product. I don't know what Colorbar thought and made the formula. I'm a big fan of Colorbar guys but this was really pathetic for 900 bucks. I don't know what went wrong but I really don't recommend buying this lipstick guys. They have amazing shades but don't waste money because it's 900 bucks and really we can't just waste on it because the formula is really trash. I'm really sorry to say but yes, a, a super big dislike for this lipstick. I really didn't like it. So this becomes my worst lipstick I've ever used. Seriously, I have used many lipsticks from the most cheapest brand, from the high-end brand but this is the worst so guys if you found this video useful don't forget to hit a like it really helps me a lot guys big time actually and don't forget to comment below if you like this lipstick or you don't like this lipstick or your worst lipstick let me just know guys i love reading comments so yes let me know what is your worst lipstick ever 
and yes guys don't forget to share this video because sharing is caring and yes see you later in some other video bye bye Mwah.